Beautiful and lovely Miss Kimberly Locke. She's going to be cooking up some handmade ravioli zucchini spaghetti. That's a long recipe. I know, recipe. that's a lot. So let's go over here. Let's, do let's it. get started. Okay, okay, so you can make your own dough at home. It's very simple. It's three ingredients flour, eggs, and water. Mm. You know, three and a half cups of flour, three eggs, a little pinch of salt, and you keep your water on standby. So basically, I've already got it here. So water's you, on deck. Water's on deck. So you pour it and you just kind of make a little well in the middle. And you just keep doing that, doing that, and eventually it makes a ball of dough. Okay. And you keep it covered to keep the to keep it from drying out, mm -hmm. and it, you can keep using it over and over again. Okay. So here we go. We got a couple of pieces here that I've already kind of worked flattened out a little out. bit, flattened You've out. Needed, so you worked it. Next, we're going to make our filling. Now that we got this ready, you got to have the feeling. So everybody was asking me, what's the is... The feeling or the filling? The feel. Oh. Well, I'm from the South. Stop giving me <laughs> a hard feeling. time. We only got to... Let me get my oh, recipe okay, go, in. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, so basically take that piece okay. and you feel it. I feel it. Okay. It does have feel. Now. Okay, so here we go. Down. There you go. Okay. Take this. Yes. This is my new, uh, another new toy. Uh, I love your toys. That's like a pastry cutter. So okay. cut, a, cut, cut a square. Square, okay. Yep. Boom. Yeah, Boom. and you made it big enough. Very good. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that yes. and go like that. And when the dough is a little moist, it's been sitting out a little bit. It doesn't right. crumble like right. that. You make well, it's just for bad. TV. Yeah. But anyway, this That's is what your ravioli problem. looks like. This is a cute little ravioli. And you mix your stuffing together. Our mm -hmm. stuffing, sweet potatoes and herb goat cheese. So you just mash goat it together. Cheese. You can even put a little butter and nutmeg in there That's if you want mixer. to. And then you... Drop it in your boiling water that I already have going here. Okay. okay. So you've already shown people how to do our zucchini spaghetti. Spaghetti, yes. With our new toy, the yeah, Veg the Eddie. Eddie. Veg Eddie. <laughs> the Veg Correct Eddie. Correct pronunciation. So that's going to go as the base of the dish. Mm. And then when our raviolis are completed, we will plate that with the spaghetti and have a dish, and mm -hmm. you can make whatever sauce you Any want. Any sauce. Any sauce. Do you, do you have a certain so kind of sauce that you prefer? I have a sauce here that I've started. It's got a little bit of cream, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese in it. Okay. And you put it on simmer, and you just stir it until it gets the consistency that you want, and you're going to pour it okay. onto your dish. Now, pumpkin. Pumpkins are really great for the season. It's fall. There are pumpkins everywhere, and there's some really pretty pumpkins around. So what I did, two things. Do you like pumpkin seeds? I love them. Have one. Can I try one? I yeah. love pumpkin seeds. You scoop the inside out, you rinse them and clean them off, and you put them on a baking sheet, and you just drizzle a little olive oil and put whatever your favorite spice is. It could be cinnamon and sugar. It could be oh, some type of sugar salt. Would be good. It could be whatever. And I love pumpkin seeds. So then you take the actual pumpkin and yes. you rub butter inside of it. Okay. Like and this. Like so, that. So we have a stick and of that's butter. soft, so be careful because that could be really messy. Okay. Here, use this. But but should I try it? Like Yeah, go ahead, try it. I want to okay, see how just... this looks. Yes. Do it Ryan's way. <laughs> work it, work it. See, you don't always have to do it cooking with Kimberly style. You can do it. You can do it. I, bachelor well, Ryan bachelor style. Bachelor Ryan style who has no idea what he's and doing. And then you okay, just take and you put your cinnamon on the inside mm -hmm. and you could cover it. I covered this one a lot. So once you do that, you just put it in the oven and you bake it for about 40 minutes. And then you take your fork and you just rake the sides of it. And it makes like, you smell that? It smells delicious, mm, right? That is good. Too bad we don't have smell vision I know. But you just make. That's coming next it's year. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> it makes like, a, it's an alternative to a sweet potato, uh, an, an actual potato dish. Yeah, so but with now you've got pumpkin on your plate as well. Actually, let's just put this on. And, and that's the, a pretty healthy alternative, it's right? Pretty pumpkin? healthy. Absolutely. Absolutely. As long as you don't put too much <laughs> brown sugar in yeah, there. Yeah, well. <laughs> Put that inside and then okay. actually lift that lid there, Ryan. This one. Yeah, lift okay. that. I'm gonna put oops, I dropped the fork. Oh, okay. Lost Stab fork. my foot. No and there's big a deal. slotted spoon over there. One. Get the spoon? Yep. Okay, spoon. <laughs> and we're gonna take these ravioli. I don't know if these are ready. When your ravioli are finished, they actually float to the top like that. And those did float, so they we're did good. float, so, so <laughs> that means I'm doing something right this morning. <laughs> so you put that over there, and then yep. what's the uh, the put final there. piece to the recipe. The final piece to the recipe would be to put ever what whatever sauce you have chosen mm. and to garnish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Very good. And well, we're going to have the full recipe online. Dinner served. Yep. So make sure you guys check it out on our website, ctstyle.tv. Of course, you got to find this girl, the very lovely and beautiful Kimberly Locke. She's a, a very talented performer and equally as talented here in the kitchen. And uh, hey, speaking <laughs> of healthy food, it's time now for another beauty tip from Dr. Beth Collins.